good morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful, sunny, but a little bit cool this morning, but absolutely wonderful day to start talking about some broccoli. I am really excited to get some in the ground. So let me get everything together and we'll go over there. Okay, we are over here in a raised bed garden and I have my broccoli here. They are a little bit scruffy, but I did buy them a little early and then had to put it off just a little bit. But this is the bed that I'm going to go ahead and put them in. And you see the cabbages are over there. Now we got a lot of rain last night. So this ground is really nice and wet. But pretty much like the cabbages that I put in a few days ago, the only thing this bed needs is topped off just a little bit. The soil in here is still really, really nice. I'm just going to put some nutrition in here. Yeah. Still nice and soft. But I'm going to go get everything I need together. It'll take me just a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, I know working in these short beds can get a little crazy and Working on a camera angle to try to be able to see everything and me at the same time is a little difficult. So I thought maybe I'd just commentary on this part. But I have the flower and vegetable soil. And I have some black cow and I have my jobs. What I'm going to do is try to find a really good camera angle. And just start working on this. What I'm going to do is lay down the flower and vegetable soil then I'm going to lay down the black cow on top now you notice when I did the cabbage I had three of the same size bags but today for this I have one small bag and one very large one it should give me about the same amount of soil but I'm going to get that all stirred up and I'm going to put some really nice handfuls of jobs in here and I'm just going to put in a little break, set up a camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry you're going to see an awful lot of my feet. But as soon as I get that done, then I'll be back and um, we'll go ahead and get the plant. Okay, I'm trying my best to get some kind of camera angle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this square. Now, just like the cabbage beds, this is a low, flat, six inch tall bed with three squares in it. Mark where I have that first one there. Now, what I'm going to do with the broccoli is I'm going to plant these in here in nine to a square. Now, the cabbage is spaced out a little bit differently because they get really big and round. But these guys don't need as big of a footprint, but they get pretty tall. So I'm going to get nine holes in here. Try to get straight rows. I don't always do very good. <laughs> uh, 
all right. Now another thing too, and I mentioned it in the other video, is try to be careful and not smash their, their little root balls up too bad. Um, you can see they've got lots of lots of roots showing and stuff, and you don't want to smash that and bind them up too bad. Firm, but gentle. And I am going to be planting 27 of these, but I bought 30 because they come in six packs. But that'll give me a few extra in case. <laughs> And if I don't end up having to plant the extras, then I'll just end up with extra broccoli in just a random bed. I'm sure you've seen that over the years. Okay, I have the first bed square done. What I'm going to do is pull the camera back and put a little break in. I'm going to get the rest of these planted. And then I have something I want to show you. Now, I told you I wanted to show you something, and you guys always ask all of the good questions. And I wanted to show you my bucket. Um, actually, these are just the black planting pots for just about anything that we buy. I keep all of them. Now, we are expecting snow. Yes, believe it or not, snow over the weekend. And while while these plants will do fine in the cooler temperatures, I don't really want the snow to settle on the leaves. But all you have to do is just put a pot over the top of them. And they come out just fine. Now if you're expecting high winds, you can set a brick on top. I know you've seen I have different piles of bricks and stuff around. but. It's really easy. I just keep all of these and set them right on the top of them. Take them off as soon as I come out to feed all the chickens and everybody in the morning. You can, anytime you think, you know, it might get a little too cold if it gets below freezing. If you're expecting a heavy frost, or like we are, um, we're actually expecting snow in a couple of days. But 
that still gives these guys plenty of time out here. I get to plant. We still get a nice early crop and they're really, really easy to take care of and cover. Really excited to have all the broccoli in. Yeah, show you cabbages real quick, but yeah, hopefully I didn't jump the gun too bad, but can alleviate some of that with the black pots. I'm really happy to have these done, and um, hold on just a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it has been a wonderful day. I'm dirty yet again, and there's some green in the garden, and yeah, like, that's my favorite part, um, when everything just starts getting, yeah. It, it's kind of crazy when everything's brown, and you know, or the winter, spring comes, and yeah, lots of good green. But, I'm really excited to have all of that in, Sorry, it's a little bit breezy. And I think that there's enough going on in the garden right now. Maybe in the next couple of days, I could do a little bit of a garden update. So, yeah, why don't we see what, what uh, the snow has in store for us. Anyway, really enjoyed having you visit today. And every day in the dirt is a good day. I swear, I love it. Bright and sunny, just absolutely perfect. And I'm just sitting here rambling on. I'm very, very sorry. I'm going to go ahead and get it on out of here. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm out here playing in the dirt again. And happy about it. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please put them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up. But now it is time to go see what else I can get into. Yeah, maybe I'll get into a little trouble today. But, yeah, don't forget we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.